Nothing on here indicates land for miles. What could we possibly have hit? Has it occurred to you that we're not where you thought we were? It doesn't make any sense. Well, you're reading it wrong, sir. Jim. What? A man's an idiot. He can't even read a chart properly. I don't know what he's done with that. Jim, enough. Oh. It's all right, Ferret. I don't know where we are. We need to get you warm, sir. Yeah. I could try and get a fire started. Give you a hand. Useless anyway. Good lucky if this works, it's all pretty damp. If it's worth a shot. I could try and find some flint. An idea, Caleb. I'll go and see if I can find any shelter. Okay, stay together. We don't know what's on this island. Come off it, man! Surely you couldn't have gone us so lost that we're somewhere off the East Indies. I'm sure I can handle myself if I come across a primitive highland picked. Jesus! Good morning, gentlemen. <laughs> morning. I'm Fingal MacLeod. Welcome to the island. We're extremely relieved to make your acquaintance, Mr. MacLeod. Our ship sank in the mist, and our rowboat barely made it here. Might I presume that we're somewhere off the west coast of Scotland? In about, eh? Well... Looks like you could all do with a restorative, hmm? Follow me. Uh, our ship hit some rocks not far from here. There may be some survivors. 
Perhaps if we built a fire, they might be able to follow it to shore. I'll tell you what. You come and dry yourselves at my cottage, and I'll come back and light a fire. We'll make sure if there's anyone out there, they'll know where to swim to. We do need to get you warm, sir. And take a look at your arm. There we go. Have your fill. There's plenty more. We haven't much here, but porridge we have. I'm very grateful, sir. Bigley, have you the, um... Where'd you get this? We managed to salvage a little from the ship before she went down. Thank you kindly. Now eat. So tell me, where you're from? Navy? Merchant. So you're on your own? Where were you headed? New York. Where I still intend to go. The land of opportunity. You certainly can't say that about this place. Where are we exactly? Do you know what happened out there? We got lost. Quite spectacularly. This island is not any of the charts we had. No. And then the mist came in. You couldn't see anything except a light in the distance. A light? Yes. It seemed a long way off, so we carried on. Even though the first mate said we should stop. It was the captain's decision. We ran aground, the ship sank, and you're still defending That's it. enough, sailor. Gentlemen. My apologies, Mr. McLeod. We've been through quite the ordeal. Now, we need to get that wound seen to. There's a farm a little way off. We'll get Lanthe Innes to take a look at it. Thank you, sir, but perhaps we could organize that fire on the beach first. Finish up. I'll see to it now, and then we'll head to the farm. They'll have space for you all to stay there until we can work out a way to get you back to the mainland. I'll help you with the fire, sir. No, lad. You rest, get your strength back. When is the next boat to the mainland, Mr. McLeod? Oh, they're coming, aren't they? What? Who are three of them? Survivors. I don't know, but they're here and they can help us. Where are they now? McLeod got to them first. What, sir? Nothing. Is that our host has excellent taste in literature? September 22nd, 1841. Stop! 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 It's happened again. Stop! 
Another ship has broken upon the rocks. We're ready to the rocks. I tried to help them, but they couldn't hear me. That awful, deafening sound. Right, that's done. All set then. How many people are on the island, Mr. McLeod? Single, please. It's been a tough few years. The food plight of 41 devastated what was once very fertile land. Most have moved on now. You mentioned earlier about getting us back to the mainland. Is there a regular crossing? I wouldn't say it was particularly regular, no. I see. So All in good time. Leave them be, old oh. man. You can't keep them for yourself. You've come back for me. You leave them be, Corrigan! Leave! Leave now, you mustn't be here. Go home. Sorry about that. Ignore her. Just the ravings of a mad woman. But her brother was taken by the sea a few years back. She's never quite recovered. Let's press on. She certainly took a liking to you, Jim. Can you blame her? Douglas, have some guests for you. The brig hit upon some trouble. These poor fellows were the only ones that managed to survive. I thought they could stay with you. No, I don't think so. Master Gosling here is in a pretty bad way, Douglas. Perhaps your Lanthy might be able to take a look at him. They can't stay here, Fengal. Lanthy's not been well. They managed to salvage a few interesting supplies, Douglas. Rum. Peace to meet you, sir. I'm Midshipman Olive Gosling, and these gentlemen are able seamen Jim Bickley and Caelan Ferris. Rum. Sir. You'll have to forgive Douglas. We don't have many visitors these days. Thank you, McLeod. I will. I'll be off then. I'll let you know if we have any luck with that fire of yours. Thank you for your kindness, Mr. McLeod, and that boat you mentioned. The boat? To the mainland. Oh, yes. McLeod. Good day. Better sit yourselves down. I'll go make the room up for the young officer. Get some blankets for the other two. He is not staying in William's room. They can all sleep down here. Uncle, he's wounded. He needs a proper bed. Aye. Well, you get yourself back upstairs as soon as you've tended to him, hmm? And you were the only survivors. We couldn't see. It was thick with fog. Couldn't even see a yard in front of you. Just hear the screaming. 
happening. I thought I heard singing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Is this something I said? You are it. It's not you. A few years ago now, one of our fishing boats sank. All the young men were drowned. It hit this wee community hard. Good night. There's something really weird going on here. Guide us home, mate.
quickly. Sure. Do you sleep? Some. How's the arm? Good, thank you. Morning, sir. Goodness, Bickley, you look awful. <laughs> Thanks, Ferris. Gentlemen. I think we should have a look to see if we can get off this island ourselves. Why, sir? Didn't Fingal say he was going to help us with the boat? No, you're right, sir. We should have a look ourselves. We don't want to burden these people any longer than we have to. We can see who else is on the island, bargain some run for a decent boat, but... Let's not mention anything to our hosts. Agreed? Good morning. Hope you all slept well. Perfectly. Thank you, Lanty. Trust your arm's feeling better, Mr. Gosling. Oliver, please, and yes. Yes, much better, thank you. Remarkably so, in fact. Good. I'm glad. I'll make a start on breakfast, then. We were thinking of exploring the island today. Why? Stretch our legs, get some fresh air, see what your lovely home has to offer. <gasps> There's nothing out there. Not anymore. Still? You should stay inside, Oliver. Get your rest. You won't heal if you don't. Let the others go if they must. We can report back anything we find and you can take a look when you're feeling stronger. Very well. Thank you, Bickley. You can tell me about your home. What's this? Mr. Bickley and Mr. Ferris were going to have a wee look around the island, but I told Mr. Gosling he should stay here and rest. There's nothing for you either. We just thought we'd take the opportunity of having an explore, that's all. There's nothing for you to explore. This is a dead isle. We're only here because we've no choice. Besides, there's a storm coming. We'll, we'll wrap up warm. Sit yourselves. Make a start on the porridge then. It's a good job I like porridge. I don't want to, not this one. Yes. Yes, of course, I know they did. Mm -hmm. Anything? No. Completely empty. Another one. What on earth happened here?
Douglas was right. There's nothing here. The place is dead. What do you think? Uh, go back? There must be an old boat or something here. Where do they all go? Why are you so desperate to leave? Because... There are only four people on this island and they're all weird. You'd be weird too if you lived here too long. They've been kind to us so far. Why did they stay when everyone else clearly had the sense to leave? I suppose they... Maybe we Let's should go. split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Hopefully find something useful. Jim, I don't think... Kaylin, just... Okay. But if it starts to rain, I'm going back. Good lad. See you in an hour. Just wanted food. Oh, don't give me that, Lanthe. What was she doing here? She's worked herself up over the sailors. You must have noticed the resemblance to Jacob. All right, well, I don't want you getting worked up. You stay away from her. Do you hear me? I'll make us start on supper.
He's not in. Jesus, man. Oh, I'm sorry, laddie. How can I help? Oh, I just, um... Where is everyone? Well, we've been all around the island. What happened? Oh, that's a very long story. And it's time you got back to the farm. It gets awful dark, awful quick around these parts. Fingal, how do we get back to the mainland? There must be... Yeah, I almost forgot your matches. You must have left them yesterday. Best get inside before it gets too dark. Mind your way. Yeah. Thank you. Got muddled as to where I was, that's all. It gets pretty dark quick. Well, you shouldn't be out after dark. It's not safe out there. There's cliffs and bogs, rabbit holes, you snap your ankle in, all sorts of things. Anything of interest with me? Oh, no. Yeah, the place is deserted. I told you, there's nothing for you out there. Oh. The ferris, find anything? Is it with you? together. Well, we, um, he just wanted to have a look by himself, explore and all that. I thought he'd be back by now, though. We need to look for him. No, 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 no. You're not going to do that. That's right, Lanty. be fine. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I just need to... Sinner? No, it's all right. She's bad nerves at all. Stay here. What are you doing? You should get warm. Away from that window. back past Fingal's cottage, then you must have split up somewhere around here, correct? Quickly. The first light will set out along this route and see if we can retrace his steps.
Jaden. There's no one there, Bickley. Oliver? I didn't see anything. Caleb. Another ship has broken upon the rocks. This time it was one of ours. I found the bodies washed up on the shore this morning. No, not washed up. It was as if they'd been placed there. All in a perfect line. Poor Billy. Should never have gone out. He wasn't a fisherman, but he wanted to help. He was so desperate for food. Is this our fault? I can't help but think we're being punished.
think it's Ferris. He must have fell in the storm. These cliffs become treacherous in bad weather. What do you think happened to his face? Probably fell into all sorts on his way down. He should be buried at sea. We'll need a boat. Fingal, we'll borrow yours. I will. Don't be ridiculous. In this storm? The boat's too small, it's far too dangerous. Help me wrap him quickly. Bury him tonight. We're not waiting for good weather. It could be months in a place like this. I have a bad feeling, sir. It's this island. It's not just the island. It's the people. I've been stashing supplies, sir. Food, oil, water. I think we should make a break for it tonight. Can we take Ferris with us? Give him to the sea. Yeah, it doesn't look like this ship's going to materialise anytime soon. I'll make a start on getting things in order, sir. Bigley. Good lad. Please don't leave. Nancy. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. How long have you been there? Don't go. Not yet. We need to give Ferris a proper seaman's burial. You're not coming back. I know you're not. Why don't you come with us? I can't leave. Why? You could have a life here. To help us rebuild the island. I don't belong here, Lanthe, neither do you. I think. You all right?
have you been? Let's go. Quiet boy. Sorry, Ferris. Cold hands. Is any was in. Well, Jim, well, you were a good lad, Kaylin. Awful sailor, but a good lad. <laughs> I never heard you speak a bad word against anyone. Sorry I wasn't there. I should have been. Come on. Maybe we should go back. Leave the first light instead. What? No. We've got everything with us. I'm not going back there. I can't see anything out here. No, I won't be able to navigate. What? Well, that doesn't make sense, sir. We knew it was going to be hard. We can't give up now. No. No, it's no good. We'll have to turn back. Stop! Stop! We have to get out of the mist. We have to turn back. It's her, isn't it? What has she done to you? Help me out here! Shit! Push myself! What? I gotta eat! What was that? Katie, what was that? Quiet!
me! No! No! no. Turn about! Stay away from the line! What you heard happened five years ago. When the food plight really took hold, our boys stayed out at sea for days, trying to catch anything they could. One night, they got caught in a dreadful storm. The likes none of us had witnessed before. And you think that's what we heard? I know that's what you heard. I hear it. Hear them calling for my help. I think you've been alone here too long. Set. A few years back, I found the body of a young woman washed up on the shore. <laughs> it was a fine evening. Oh, but I doubt my dancing days are over. You ever have any? <laughs> oh, have you know I cut a fine caper in my day. <laughs> Here, your corrigan was in fine form. Aye, I had to drag her away in the end. <laughs> Jacob was in a strange mood. Oh, poor Billy's always in a strange mood. What's he up to now? Better go and fetch him. Ah, uh, come on then. It wasn't long after that that the crops started failing. Nothing would grow. The livestock took ill and slowly died. People's livelihoods were destroyed. Whole families were starving and had no choice but to leave. It's a curse placed on the island by her. By who? The drowned woman? I call her Persephone. After the Greek myth? What? I read it in Finkel's book. She was known as the goddess of death. Persephone was abducted by Hades. And it was believed that because of this, nothing grew and the people starved. What's that got to do with shipwrecked fishermen? It's her curse. She torments us with the sound of death. Sitting in the dark, man. 
Where are they? I don't know. Where are they, Lanty? I was out looking for them. Don't lie to me! <laughs> Lanty. I saw the two of you, up by the farm. You know you can't be talking to Lante. I know what's happening. You keep away from her! Uh, you go back to the cottage, and I'll go and see what the commotion is about. Would you like me to come with you? No, you go back and stay inside. Persephone had two sirens as companions. When they failed to stop her abduction by Hades, their song, a beautiful, sad melody, eternally called for her return. It lured ships under the rocks. Ships under Stop! Stop! Turn back! Turn I tried to help them, but they couldn't hear me. That awful, deafening sound. I still hear it constantly in my head. The cries of all those poor, lost souls. More families have left, fled in fear. This is going to have to stop. You're going to end up killing her. I'm trying. What are you doing, man? What's got into you, for goodness sake? Come off it, McLeod. You know as well as I do, this is happening again. We don't know that. Your daughter is dangerous. You need to keep a closer eye on her. I just suppose your Lanthe is doing well, is she? Coping? We just need to keep them away from each other. Aye. Agreed. No supply boat. The last boat logged was a year ago, almost to the day. Look what happened to it. All souls lost. Here's another. Almost the same date, the year before. All souls lost. Pickley. What do you say to another drop of rum to keep the nightmares at bay? You go on ahead, Bickley. I... I think I might explore the island a little. Are you sure, sir? I really think we should stick together. I just want to try and find out a little bit more about what actually happened here. Something's very much amiss. But I refuse to believe that a mythical being is to blame. What?! I'll see you back at the farmhouse, Jim. I won't be long.
Hello? Hello? September 20th, 1840. Tonight is the Mabin dance. The village is alive with comings and goings. Everyone gathering what they can to celebrate the last of the harvest and stockpiling for the long dark days ahead. A bounteous isle giving way to the inevitable cold grasp of winter. I went out this morning, managed to hit a couple more brace of grouse and bumped into Lorna Elliott. Morning, Jacob. How are you on this fine day? Very well. Thank you. I hope I'll be seeing you at the dance. I wouldn't miss it for anything. I'm off to pick flowers for the hall now. I actually managed to pluck up the courage and ask her for a dance. Save a dance for me. Maybe she does like me. Ridiculous. I'm running away with myself. She always smiled at me, for God's sake. And there's Billy Ennis, of course. He'll be prowling around her, marking his territory as if she belongs to him. I was hoping I'd see you here. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hope it didn't frighten you. No. No. I just need to get these flowers picked for tonight. Funny you should mention that. What time should I pick you up? Oh, no, I, I'm fine. I'll make my own way there. Thank you. But I'll see you there. Good day. It was a bonny night. Everyone was in high spirits. Douglas Innes could barely stand by the end. I saw something on my way home, and I've been turning it over and over. At first I could make out who it was with Billy. And then I saw her dress. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd been dancing with me all night. What are you reading? <sighs> Nancy. I'm sorry I left. It's fine. 
We had to bury Ferris. I said it's fine. Anthea. Why did you go out in the dark? It isn't safe. What happened? It's nothing. We have to get off this island, and you have to come with us. <laughs> they won't let me. Who won't? You have to stay away from me. <laughs> Lancy! Lancy! Lancy, please. Let me help you. Leave me alone. Were you born in a field? You're letting... Bickley? Oh, damn it. Bickley! to get up. Something's happened. <laughs> no. Jacob, please, no. That's not Jacob Corrigan. Leave him be. <laughs> she killed him. Please, Corrigan, darling. Come away now. No. Oh, dear God. Oh, please, no. 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 Shit. You killed him. You know I didn't do this, Corrigan. Corrigan! Get out of him! Get out of him! What's happening to her? Wait, go, please! Hold her still! What? Hold her head steady. What? Clancy, it's all right. 
It's all right. Shh. I think. Wante, where the hell have you been in this? Wante, what happened? She had one of her fits. Where were you? I had to go out searching for that idiot Bickley. He took off in the night. Then the mist came down. My lantern went out. I had to shelter to light. Well, that idiot Bickley is dead. Enough! No more excuses. What the hell is going on? You tell me the truth and you tell me now! Calm down, Oliver. You're scared. I understand. Of course I'm fucking scared! Will you waste? You. Stay away from me. You be quiet, Oliver. Lante is upstairs sleeping. Now get control of yourself. I want to know what is going on. And then I want to get off his godforsaken island. And we want to help you, Oliver. Will you just listen? Remember that drowned woman I told you about? Yes. The night before I found her, there'd been a dance. Evening, Billy. Good night for it. Aye. Good to see you pacing yourself, lad. <laughs> Take it easy, son. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen you dancing much this evening, Billy. You're dancing enough for the whole family. Oh, you're such a killjoy, William Innes. Well, I might consider it if my woman would dance with me. Oh, and who might that be, Billy? I hope that's not me you're referring to. I'm nobody's woman. Aye, until it's you, Chilona. <laughs> Says you, you strumpet. I'm not the one that's been flirting with Davy Campbell all evening. Oh, oh, oh. I'm no sister of mine talking to her, Campbell. Well, I'm ready for another reel. <laughs> Hi, maybe a wee bit more of that punch as well. <laughs> I think I might head back. I'm feeling pretty tired. As you wish. Mind how you go. I'll keep you company if you like. No, I'll take her home. Billy. Uh, no worries. I'll be fine on my own. I'll see you in the morning, Jacob. Come on. Let's have a drink. Look at the cloud. She and I have an understanding. She doesn't think so, Billy. Are you saying I'm lying? <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing, Uncle. Jacob, your dad wants to. You better go into. Bye. I'll be in.
must have fallen over the cliffs on our way home from the dance. This was no accident, Douglas. Look at the bruising. What if this was one of our lads? You said you'd caught them arguing over her last night. God, Fingal. You know what this will mean? They'll come here looking for who did this. Someone will hang. Right. We'll bury her properly at sea. Then we'll never speak of this again. We can't do that. What about our family? What about our families? Billy, you're Jacob. They're young men. Aye. They've both got their lives ahead of them. So you covered it up. And no one knew what happened to her. Aye. And now she haunts us. She uses the women, she controls them. Lanty and Corrigan don't know what they're doing and we're powerless to stop her. Then all of you need to get off the island. You don't think we've tried? Where are they? No, 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 please. Please. Corrigan, Corrigan. Corrigan, it's Jacob, it's me. It's your brother. This is our punishment. To have to watch our innocent girls take everyone we care for. We'll have to try and get you away from here as soon as possible. I'll make sure Lanty can't get out. Oliver, you get your things together. Fingal and I will then make sure that Corrigan's locked up. We'll meet you in the beach. Douglas. Nothing against that, please. Lanty. I'm sorry. I know. It's all right. Good girl.
clad. In. Oliver! You need to get away. Keep true north for six miles, then north, north, east. And the gods willing, you'll find the mainland eventually. You're going to need these. Put them in your ears. Don't take them out till you're away from the mist. It's their song. That's why we wrecked in the first place. Aye, aye, aye. And if you hear it, you'll be powerless. Now, come on. The wax. Look for Odysseus, lad. Whatever happens, don't take them out. Good luck. Try not to think too harshly of us. Thank you, gentlemen. Monty? We have to steal him. He helped him escape. You. You must not breathe. You know what will happen to us. I'll not help you anymore. Let her go. Lanthi, listen to me. You have to fight her, Lanthi!
Hey. <sighs>